Hello, welcome back to another class. Uh, this is, will be a short question answer discussion. One of my students has asked me to solve this question as he was not quite able to solve it. So, we are here to solve this in easy and very efficient time saving way. So, let's start. And before we start, pause the video and try to solve it by yourself first, and then only proceed to the solution section. So basically the problem is not so tricky. So what are we are having here? We are having a hydroboration oxidation reaction. And as we if we go through the mechanism of hydroboration, we can see that if this is a double bond, how uh, BS3 is getting added in this manner, BS it basically it is getting added this added here and this added here so basically you can see here that the pH 3 is adding from the similar side that is this is a syn addition so after that when this BH2 group will be converted into an wedge group still the structure will be somewhat like this that is the wedge and H both will be added from the same side it can also be added from this side so whatever side it is getting added it will always be a syn addition that is the H and BH2 will add from the same side so now coming back to the problem once again what we can see we can see that the BH3 will added will be added on that double bond now take a fresh compound once again this is the structure so Obviously, BS3 is an anti mercury of addition, and hence this here which will be added, and in this carbon H will be added. So, we can assume as this is a syn addition, we are assuming that the reaction is occurring from this side that is, which and H will be added from the above the plane. So, which will be like that this way. So, the H will go down the plane similarly. H will be added from the upper side so the methyl will be on the below the plane this will be the H and this methyl will remain same so the name will be 233 trimethyl cyclohexanol but now we have to do the RS nomenclature of those two as this is a chiral center and this is a chiral center so these two will be assigned RS nomenclature so first we all know that this will be an A, this side will be B, this side will be C. So A, B, C. This will be an anti-clockwise and hydrogen is from far side. So this will be an A centered. And similarly from this, this carbon will be A as there is the wedge. So this part, this area, this side will be priority A, this side will be priority B and the methyl will be priority C. So A, B, C they are clockwise rotation and hydrogen is in the near way so this will also be an s so we can say that the structure will be 1s 2s 2 3 3 tri methyl cyclohexanol so this will be the structure but if what if the OH and H is added from the below the plane we will get 1r 2R 2 3 3 trimethyl cyclohexanol. So, according to the option, the result will be option C. So, this is basically a very easy question. What we have to remember is that, that this hydroboration is always seen in nature and the hydroboration is always adds according to anti Markovnikov rule, and we are all set to answer this question in very slow and very little time hence you all have understood it if you still have any question you can ask me in the comment box or whatsapp me thank you